Hi there. Come on along and listen to the sounds of America's newest and we think greatest art form, the sounds of jazz. And welcome aboard. We're very happy to have you with us tonight. This is Guy Wallace in Bandstand, USA, the only live jazz show on radio today. The sounds of the world's greatest jazz men are performed for you direct from the spots in which they are currently appearing, live through the courtesy and cooperation of the American Federation of Musicians, James C. Petrillo, President. So if you're set, we are too, and let's not waste any more time. As Bandstand USA gets ready to take you now to the Cafe Bohemia, 15 Barrow Street, right in Greenwich Village here in New York, for the artistry of the controversial trumpet player that the whole country listens to, Miles Davis. Here we go. Bandstand USA takes you direct to Cafe Bohemia and Miles Davis. <laughs>
Miles Davis and his group coming to you from the Cafe Bohemia, 15 Barrow Street in Greenwich Village. Great group it is, too, and a great place to go, incidentally. It's really got an international reputation in the jazz field, the Bohemia. Jimmy Garofalo, the owner, is one of the nicest guys you'd ever want to meet. If you're in the vicinity and want to run down and listen to some real fine sounds. Say, our guest tonight is Bill Koss, the editor of Jazz Today and Metronome Magazines. Now, Bill, um, come on aboard here. See if you can grab yourself a piece of that microphone and answer me a question. Not so much for me, but for the folks across the country. Why, why do they say Miles Davis is the most controversial proper player in the business today? Uh, you could write a book probably about that subject, and I would <laughs> like to. Um, but there are two things, probably. One is that some people think that Miles is making fun of them from the stand. This is one thing. Yeah. But secondly, and most importantly, I think, is that Miles, I think you could say, is the leader of a whole new school of trumpeters, this so-called soft sound trumpet, which is actually much more reminiscent of a tenor saxophone or an alto saxophone, say, than it is a trumpet. And this is led completely away from the Dizzy Gillespie out of Roy Eldridge, out of Louis Armstrong kind of trumpet playing. I see. It's not only a soft sound, it's unusual and distinctive sounds because he gets sounds out of a horn that I've never heard before. That's right. Barry Ulanoff called it an egg-shelled sound, and I think that's a very good description. Was it Barry that coined the phrase that Miles Davis plays like a man walking on eggs? He might have. It's certainly <laughs> close enough to it, yes. Let's get back now and hear some more of that wonderful sound of Miles Davis' horn from the Café Bohemia. Here we go. Thank you. 